Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator 22. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to make some money. It's January, and as you all know, if you've been watching all along, January is our biggest selling month by far. Uh, we're going to have some smaller pallets to move first, and then we'll get into the big stuff, which is going to be a ton, not literally, uh, many tons, literally, <laughs> of silage so let's start with the small stuff first so I'm gonna go right on over to the warehouse here and uh, take a look and see what's on the docket for today all right so we want to go to here and price prices and let's see we want we're not doing eggs, we're not doing wool. We we will do milk, but we'll have to do that with the tanker. Uh, silage we'll come back to later. I've got more than 468,000 liters too, by the way, quite a bit more, like a ton more, M many tons more. <laughs> uh, so let's see, we sold straw in December, so we're done with that. We could sell a little more flour and bread later on, but I mean, that's not going to make much of a dent. So cake's going to be our first big sale for today. So 3603 is the max price there. And it looks like we can sell it for 3692 at the grocery store. And the price is going down. So let's load up on the cake first. Uh, we're gonna have to set up a bunch of auto drive courses and do it. we got a, we got a lot of work to do. We'll just put it that way. Lots of work. 30 pallets of cake, nice. That'd be worth some money. That ought to be worth some money. Okay. Get that loaded up there. So there's nine per row. So there's 27, 28, 29, and 30 with the uh, that one. Okay, so is there anything else that goes... Oh, no, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. That goes to the grocery store. So butter is John's, Johnson's MJ's Mini Mart is given the best price for butter. We're not counting our own bakery. Cheese, fifty four sixty eight. So it looks like MJ's Bistro and pizzas for cheese. Uh, fabric and clothes we're not selling this month. Chocolate. And the grocery store is the best for chocolate. So let's also load up chocolate. We sell chocolate twice a year. All right. And that gives us six pallets more. Okay. I prefer to think of this as white chocolate because, oddly enough, and I know I've said this before, but <laughs> in this game... The most important important ingredient that you need for chocolate is not required to make chocolate, and that is cocoa. <laughs> so it's like, okay, so what, we're making white chocolate. Because I don't know, do you need cocoa to make white chocolate? I don't think so, but I'm not a white chocolate expert, so couldn't say for sure. All right, we've got major lag going on here. We've got to be careful too because the roads are slippery. But it doesn't look like we're going to get any snow in today's forecast, so that's good. Didn't quite get it all at the same time. So we got 55, 56. We made about $56,000 off of all of that. Not too bad. It's a lot of birthday cakes and chocolate to boot. All right, let's go get the next load. All right, so next we're going to be looking at butter and cheese. So butter is going to be, let's just make sure. Yeah, it's still good in January and cheese should be January. 
Yeah. Okay, so butter is going to be um, 985. The bakery. Yeah, that's the normal bakery. Okay, so that'll be for the butter. And the cheese is going to be 969 MJ's Bistro. Uh, does MJ's Bistro also take butter? Oops. It does. Okay, so we can't take the butter there. So let's do the... doesn't really matter which one we do first. Let's do the cheese first since the Bistro is closer. Eleven pallets of cheese. All right. Looks tasty. So nineteen, about twenty grand off the cheese. Next is butter. Twenty pallets of butter. Yummy. I only see fifteen pallets there. I thought the thing he said twenty. It did. Huh. That happened to me last time too, where I told to unload everything, but it didn't. Oh, that's... Really? There's all kinds of more room on there. All right, we're going to manually load the rest of it. $19,437. All right. I like it. Okay, before we park this, let's just double check, make sure there's nothing else uh, besides milk, because we need a tanker, of course, for milk. So let's see, eggs we've already done, wool is April, milk we're gonna do, flour, we could pull out whatever little tiny bit of flour and bread is in there and just sell those for a little extra cha-ching. Um, where's, who's got the best price? So bakeries are $6.99. Grocery Mart's got the best price on flour and for bread. $18.38. Yeah, Grocery Mart. So, yeah, let's just do it. Just right across the street there. And we got three pallets of bread and... Oh, you know what? We're not going to have any flour because we're completely out. Okay, so it's just going to be the bread then. Forgot about that. Okay, let's go make a couple hundred more bucks here. Ooh! How about almost 4,000 more bucks? Okay. That's even better. Okay, so while that's loading, let's take a look at the dairy. It's got, oh yeah, it's got tons of milk. Plenty of milk to last for actually three, probably three more months. <laughs> so we're good to go there. Okay, so these are all showing red, of course, because we've emptied the warehouse. Um, That's all looking good. We've got, look at all the clothes we have, 7,734 liters. It's kind of weird <laughs> measuring clothes in liters, but it's just kind of the what the game does. Okay, so we have 13,406 liters of milk. Let's see where we can go take that and make a little more cha-ching. Milk, milk, wherefore art thou? Right there. Okay, 754, 766. Looks like 
the dairy over on the other end of town is going to give the best price. Yeah, okay. Let's head on over there. $10,281. Okay. So that concludes all of our January sales except for silage. So let's get back to the ranch and kind of take a look at how much we've made so far. And then we are going to need to get set up for silage, which is going to require some um, auto drive course set up and some other things. Okay, let's take a look and uh, see where we're at so far in January. So we've basically sold 123, about $123,500 of product so far. However, some of this is from greenhouses, so it's not quite that much. Um, I would get venture to say we've probably done maybe $105,000 in total uh, with all that product that we just sold. So pretty good. Uh, pretty good indeed. And the silage, I don't know what will count, you know, when we sell loose silage, because it can't really be bales. We will have a few bales to sell, though, too. So, yeah, I don't know. We'll have to just see how that comes together. It, it probably will be lumped under products, would be my guess, but we'll see. Um, so, yeah, we're sitting currently at $267,424. And um, that's just the start. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to get some stuff set up. And I might, <clears throat> I think I'm going to even set up the auto drive courses off camera just because I got to give it some thought. You guys have seen me do that multiple times now. Uh, so I'm going to set the courses up in advance before I bring you back. And then obviously you'll see how, how they're set up once they're set up. Okay, so I'll see you here in a bit. All right, welcome back, everybody. I am ready now to start selling our silage. I've created the auto drive courses. What I ended up doing was just basically deleting all the auto drive courses I had previously and recreated them. This time around, too, I didn't have it auto generate the um, the base game courses because after working with that a little bit, I've come to the conclusion that that it's not worth doing. Reason being is because when you get to an intersection on the highway, those links are broken and you have to go through and hook them all up and some of them are really far apart and it's like just a big pain in the butt. So I don't know if it's supposed to be that way, but that's the way it is for me and has been for me. And so I just started over and I created my own courses without all those extra uh, notes. Okay, so uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the store and we are going to we're going to start with three trucks and trailers, and then we might adjust later, just depending upon how things go. Um, so these are both pretty much the same. So let's go ahead. How much does it cost to lease this? Forty-seven sixty-eight. How much does it cost to lease a man? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> let's use the Mack trucks. Uh, I don't think it'll it'll cause us any problems. Uh, using these and I don't really care about any of these extra thingies we're just going to lease it um you know what we might do though if we change the color do we have to pay more for it yeah we do okay no let's not even do that okay so we'll lease one of those and we will lease another one of those and that should give us two two max okay and then what we're going to do is go in and lease uh, two more of these crompe or cramp trailers. <laughs> I still don't know how that's supposed to be pronounced. Um, so let's lease one of these for 48 45 And a second one. Okay, so we got two trucks and two trailers. In addition to what we ourselves own. So, um, we have, we have three 
different areas that we're going to load loose silage from. We have the main silo, we have our stave silos, and then we have the silage factories. So we're going to start with the main silo first. Um, and then we'll go probably to the stave silos second, and then lastly to the silage factories. Um, if I get, well, we could actually get one, one truck started on the silage factories because that route is a little bit different than the others, but what I want to avoid is, you know, them clashing with each other is the thing. So it might be better for us to do all from the same source to start with. And I guess the next thing we need to do too is we need to figure out who's got the best price because the prices do fluctuate. Uh, so we're looking at silage. Um, and we got either animal dealer or biogas. So animal dealer is the best price at the moment, but it's dropping, whereas biogas is going up. So I, I created routes to both of those places. We'll start with animal dealer, but we need to keep an eye on it to see if it changes uh, later on. Okay, so that means if we're going to start with the animal dealer um, and with the main silo, I want to get everybody kind of lined up over here. So let's do that first. Okay, so let's uh, turn on auto drive. Um, and we want to do main silo load and animal dealer unload silage. And these are the routes. So let's get the first one going. We'll let it get kind of down the road a little ways before we start the next one. Oh, by the way, I did sell two loads of silage uh, while I'm setting all this up. And it comes out of harvest income. So we're getting a little over um, 11,000 per load. So we have 22.8, so 11.4 11, on the average there. So what we'll do is we'll let this one get down the road a little ways because we want to kind of stagger them so they're all more or less equally apart. They don't have to be perfectly equally apart, but more or less. So when this one is getting close to Animal Dealer, we'll start the next one. And we'll just watch this one go down the path here. It wasn't too difficult to set this up. So, yeah, not too bad. And, and I tested everything, and it all seems to work pretty good. Okay, so let's leave off here and go back to you. And we'll get you started next. We want... Pick up and deliver, main silo, load, animal, dealer, unload. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. We need to set this to silage. There. Okay. And then when he gets more or less to the same spot that the other one did when we left him, then we'll come and get this other one. And again, they don't have to be perfectly spaced apart, but we want them close. The nice thing about this silo, too, is it loads really fast compared to the other two. The other two take a little bit longer. Um, here, let's get you in position over here. I think, did we forget to... No, we got the lines hooked up. Okay. Let's see how we're doing on the other guy. Okay, so he just dumped off, which is good. So we'll follow this one to about that same spot, and then we'll jump in the next one. Okay, so we see the other truck coming back. And let's go ahead and now flip over to this one. And we want pick up, whoop, pick up and deliver. Main silo load, animal dealer unload, and silage. And then we'll start him or her, as the case may be. 
Looks like a him. All right, so that one's on its way back. So it looks like I might have could have maybe staggered these a little bit better, but it's okay. Like I said, it doesn't have to be. They don't have to be perfectly spaced apart. The important thing is, is that we move the product as quickly as possible. Yeah, he caught up quickly. My goodness. What we could do is... Um, pause him just a little bit. Let the other one get down the road a ways. Yeah, so let's just pause him and we'll wait until that truck gets a ways out maybe to the overpass okay just disappeared from render distance so we'll start this one back up now okay so basically um This one's on its way back. Okay, good. This one on, is on its way there. I'll show you the, the unload process. And then what I'm going to do is break off, get in a tractor, and get our Anderson trailer and pick up all those round bales and, and deliver those. So this would be a royal pain in the neck and take a mil million years if I was doing it by myself. But... With being able to automate it and using multiple trucks, um, it doesn't seem like it's going to be that bad, really. Oh, and I do have traffic turned off, too, of course. Pretty much that's essential for doing something like this. So, yeah, it just gets over the load area and dumps the product. We just hit 300,000. That's good. And what did we make? 11.6. Good. Let's take a look at the prices, make sure they're still good. Uh, Animal Dealer is still 195 In fact, these probably won't change, so we're probably going to be on Animal Dealer the whole time. Okay, where's the next truck? Man, this guy is just... He probably drives faster than the other ones, for one thing. But, you know, I guess it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, it's all going to get to the same spot in the generally same amount of time. Because they'll queue up behind each other if they catch up. Eleven six. Okay, good. All right, so we're going to jump in the Fint. And uh, we can also, uh, let's turn this off now, for now. And we'll get the Anderson and we'll go do the round bales. We'll take us, uh, a couple of loads. And I'm going to save one of those round bales too, just because we might need it for our, our cows before our first hay cutting. I'm not 100% sure I'll have enough to get by, so it's better to be safe than sorry. Okay, so let's grab one of these. And we'll just toss it over here in the bunker. So with what's currently still in the bunker in that one, we should be fine until our first hay cutting, which will be in March. All right, so we got two trucks queued up over there. Oh, that harvest income was less. Has the price changed? No, it hasn't. Hmm, I wonder why that one was less. That's odd. Apparently the trailer wasn't a... Oh, you know why? Maybe we're, maybe we're out of silage in the main um, silo. I bet you that's what it is. Yep, okay, so we're, we've completely emptied the main silo. So we need to get these guys going now on the stave silos. 
But let's get this first trailer loaded and get this guy down the road first, and then we'll switch them over. So yeah, they're just kind of sitting over there, not doing anything. Hmm. Did I? You'd think I would have gotten a message. Well, maybe I did and I missed it. I don't know. Horse play is the one that gives you the messages. All right. So, in theory, we should be able to just send you on a delivery mission. Well, no, let's do a pickup and deliver. Um, but we'll send you back to the main silo and we'll send you to animal dealer. Oh, I guess uh, it doesn't look like we can because it's... Yeah, it's not giving me a product. Okay, so in that case, what if we just do deliver? Can we have you deliver to Animal Dealer? Let's just see what happens. I don't think he'll come back because he doesn't have a place to come back to, but if he can at least deliver it, that's gets half of it done. Okay, so now we need to switch our little convoy over to the stave silos. So if I just simply switch you to silage factory one load, and yeah, it should just drive over there. Let's just watch it and make sure that's what happens. Uh, yeah, I don't have a route from here over to there, so he's going to come out the long way. But that's fine. I mean, let's just let him drive over there, and we'll get the other guys going, too. Okay. So you go to Silage Factory uh, 1 load. Stuck up there for a second. And same thing here. Silage factory. Oh, no. We want to do stave silo. Yeah. I meant to do stave silo, not silage factory. I guess we could try them on, on different ones. Just see what happens. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Okay. Yeah, let's try it. Okay, so I'm going to... Wait a minute. Stop. Stop, 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 stop. And don't crash into the dairy. <clears throat> Driver has reached animal dealer unload. Okay, we'll deal with him in a second. What? Oh my goodness. Okay. That was odd. It's probably because the roads are a little bit icy, I guess. So we'll try this, but we have to really keep an eye on them because they might collide with one another. So what we're going to do with you, <coughs> excuse me, and just so you can kind of see the route here, um, you're going to be... <coughs> Silage factory one load. Animal dealer should still be where we're going. I'm not expecting that that'll change. And, okay, so... So he'll work on this silo. And then we'll get the other one to do silo two. And then the third one will do the stave silos. Okay, good. So he's loading. That looks good. Now we want to change you to um, Silage Factory 2 load. Oh, 
Okay. So he'll start working on that factory. That one doesn't is not as full as this one though, so. Just make sure he can get in there and get loaded okay. This is really cool, man. I love this. All right, looking good. Uh, oh, he, yeah, he's already loaded from Stave Silo 1. Okay. Very nice. Now, the Stave Silos are very slow to load, um, even slower than the factory, so that's going to definitely set this particular truck back a little bit, but that's okay. All right, let's let him run, and we will go to the Fint, which is here. And look at that, it even offloaded for us. That's fantastic. Um, I just don't have a load point for it because I wasn't really planning on loading. What we could do, though, is we could just tell you... Uh, let's just have you drive to uh, just the main silo to get him back to the farm, and then we'll grab him from there. I don't want to. I don't want to have him drive to the stave silo because he might interfere with one of the other drivers here. Okay, let's turn off the course nodes. Everything appears to be working good. So now we just have to kind of monitor them and make sure they all do what they're supposed to do. Look at that money climbing up. Eleven six. All right, and then she's. Oh, and that truck's here now too. Now she pulls in. Okay, let's teleport back to the Fint which should be getting close. Yep, right here. All right, we'll take over from here. And we'll go get the other round bales. And then what I might do do is I might grab a trailer also maybe in one of the tractors and also haul some silage don't think I want to lease another truck and trailer so we'll, we'll just use one of our tractors and existing trailers I mean we could even use our forage wagons because they they hold 50 uh, 50,000 liters uh, in their own right. Or we can use the Stroutmans. I think the Stroutmans hold a, like 53 or something like that. Uh, what do the Stroutmans hold? That's our manure trailer. Uh, yeah, those hold 52. So we, yeah, we just grab one of the Stroutmans and just haul it with the tractor. Get you out on the road and have you deliver to animal dealer okay let's check our other trucks so you're pulling into factory two you're currently being loaded by stave silo one by the way i couldn't figure out a way to get the truck to go for <laughs> further anymore it does work as you can see it's not actually a problem but it, uh, visually, it's 
off a little bit, but I couldn't figure out how to get him to go any further forward than that, so it works. Okay, what about the other one? Oh, you're following right behind that guy. Okay. So, be yeah, he should just queue up behind the baler, but we're going to have to pull the baler out. Um, or not the baler, I'm sorry, the this guy. <laughs> the guy with the bales. We're going to have to pull him out when he's done unloading. Because otherwise he'll just sit there. Man, he's getting right up in his business, isn't he? Just relax, dude. All right, 19,000. Okay, so yeah, we're going to take uh, the Fint back to the farm, load up one of the Stroutman trailers, and just help these guys haul this silage. And we uh, are over 400,000 now, which is great. And here they all come. Okay, so how about if we work on what silo has the most in it at the moment? <clears throat> Okay, so you've got 127,000, or no, you got 1.2 million. You have 324,000. Silage Factory 2. All right, what about Stave Silo? Stave Silo 1 has 446,000. Stave Silo 2 has 560,000. Okay, <clears throat> so we'll start working on Stave Silo 2 which is this guy right here. All right, cool. Uh, let's see if we can pull forward enough for that guy to be able to start loading. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. That's what I'm talking about. Prices should still be the same. Yeah. I mean, I have the time on 0.5 anyway, so... It's not likely it's going to change before then. I'm not sure if this is really any faster than the bales that we've done in the past, but I think it's a lot more fun. <laughs> I've enjoyed it. Maybe it's just because it's new. I don't know. Alrighty, man, look at those guys. They are just on the ball. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. You know, I could actually just put this tractor on auto drive. Um, and I could jump in the New Holland with the other Stroutman and get five rigs going at the same time. Maybe we'll do that. Why not? Let's get this done. All right, we're up to 486,000 now. All right, here, let's do this then. Let's pull you off here. And we're going to set you to pick up and deliver. And we want you to do stave silo one. No, stave silo two. Animal dealer unload silage. And go for it. I'm I'm gonna stick with with the uh, the tractor here for the first part of it anyway. Just want to make sure it'll work okay. It should because I set all this up, you know, with the man truck and the longer trailers. But I don't think that matter. It'll matter. But let's just double check. Yeah, he'll just queue up behind this guy. That's so funny <laughs> but he's not right actually over the pipe there, but it's working. Now, when I set this path up, 
I put a, a two-way, that's that what the blue line is, because I, I thought we were going to have to come back the other way. But for some reason, it knows, you know, it's, it's going to stave, uh, stave uh, silo two up in front there, but it knows that it's this one to offload, which is really interesting. I don't know if it has to do with the fact that it's the two-way line or what, but it seems to work, so... I went ahead and just left it a two-way anyways. Maybe that's the trick to this. Because when I was having problems unloading, I w wasn't using a two-way. So maybe we try a two-way for unloading and see if that also works well. Okay, well, I think we're good. Let's just cycle through everybody here and make sure... All is well. Okay, you just finished unloading, which is fantastic. We're up to $509,000 now. All right, I think we're good to run. We'll run the New Holland ourselves. Now, the New Holland's going to be even slower than the Fit, and that's so it just makes sense for me to run this. So that way, if I have to, I can get out of the way or whatever. I'm liking this though. It's working out quite well. This seems to be smoother than messing with all the bales. But again, I don't know if it's faster, but it does seem to be smoother, so. All right, guys. Well, um, you get the basic idea here. So I'm going to keep at it, and I will bring you back with an update here in a little while. All right, guys, I'm back with an update, and uh, we are almost at 700000 And I'm pulling uh, the rest of the silage out of Silage Factory 2. And now this silo is empty. So let's send the New Holland up the road. Uh, he's currently set to stave silo, so that's fine. And then we'll intercept the truck when it comes back and assign it over here to uh, Silas Factory 1. So if we look in here now, uh, I guess we can't look that way, but if we look in it through the productions, uh, yeah. So Silas Factory 2, which is this one, is now empty. But Silas Factory 1 still has almost a million liters in it. So we're just going to reassign the truck that's going to come back to this one to 1. In fact, we could probably catch it on the way over. Um, whoa. Okay, that wasn't supposed to happen. What in the heck are you doing? Get on the road and get down there. All right, something's obviously not right here. Oh, you know why? Because it needs to be, okay, it needs to be switched to Animal Dealer. It thinks it wants to go back and get a full load. Okay, now I think it'll be okay. Nope, it still wants to go to here. Okay, well, in that case, let's, um, hmm. uh, let's just tell it to straight up deliver. And then I'll have to, I'll have to come back and get it. Well, actually, no, hold on. It's not, it doesn't have a full load, so we should let it do what it wants to do. Uh, Stave Silo 2 load. Just relax for a second, pal. Animal dealer. Okay. But I'm going to get it back on track so, so it doesn't try and go through that other path. I might as well 
let it get completely full before we send it over there. All right, now we should be able to turn you on. Okay, let's go find the other truck, which is probably now just sitting here. Yep. And we'll get it relined up to work on Silage Factory 1. Yeah, this is working out very, very well. I must say. Okay, so switch you to Silage Factory 1. And there you go. All right, I think we're good there. You're doing good. Where is the New Holland at? Okay, so New Holland's on its way. And what about the Fint? Let's check up on the Fint. The Fint is loading. All right, everything's going well, guys. All is well. We are making some bank. So, Let's take a look and see what's left. So Silage Factory 1 has 861,000 liters. Silage Factory 2 is completely empty. Uh, Stave Silo 1 has one more load to go, and then it's done. And Stave Silo 2 has two and a half more loads. So we're getting there. Yeah, we are definitely getting there. And with, the, you know, with this many vehicles working all at the same time, it's really not taking that long. So, yeah. All right, well, I'll bring you back with another update here in a little while. All right, guys, this is the final load. And we are over $900,000. So we're not going to hit a million, but that is pretty doggone good. All things considered. And keep in mind, that's without the greenhouse pallets this time around, because those we just got paid for throughout the year so yeah I'm pretty happy pretty happy so this is probably it right yep okay that's the last little bit um so let's just send you whoops uh, I guess we'll just have to do a straight up delivery on this Start the engine first. There we go. Okay, yeah, so we just have 9,000 some odd liters left in there. And let's see, the New Holland is finished. So we can take you off of auto drive and hopefully keep you on the road. And the, this is the last load for the Fint. So let's see. We're going to we're going to end up with close to $950,000. I'll take it. Very nice. All right. And this is the final dump here. So, 948,160 bucks. Very nice. We can stop you now. All right, so that went very well. It was fun. I don't think it took any longer than doing bales and maybe even a little little faster. You know, with all, at one point we had five vehicles working, you know, the two tractors and the three trucks, and we just whipped through that silage quickly. Um, the stave silos, the one thing I don't like about them is that they're really slow to load compared to the others. So again, that's another reason why I'm probably going to get rid of um, one of them. I'll, I'm going to keep one. Well, do I mean? I don't know. Do I even need to do that? Because we can get the silage we need out of the out of the big factories. 
Yeah, I don't know. I might end up selling both of them then. And what we what we could do is put that round bale storage back, the one we used to have. Because we're still, you know, if we're going to keep doing contracts, we're still going to have some bales uh, from contracts. So that's kind of what I'm thinking we'll do. And then we'll just use the silage factories because they're bigger, they're better, they load faster. Um, well, after I made the modifications to them, that is, in terms of being better. <laughs> uh, looks like we had a have an accident here or something's going on. What's the matter with you? Nobody around. There's no traffic. I don't know. I have no idea what was wrong with him. But anyway, I'm very pleased. I, I didn't I didn't think we were gonna make quite that much money. I was thinking we were gonna be more around like, you know, 700, 700 to eight hundred thousand. So very happy uh, with what we ended up with there for sure. All right, you guys. Well, I'm going to let you go here. I'm going to uh, move through January. And I'll bring you back on... Um, did we ever look at what's on sale, by the way? Oh, there's nothing on sale. Okay. Um, I will either bring you back later in January or maybe even on February 1st, just depending upon what... I decide we're going to do with this money uh, for this year. I haven't fully decided yet, um, but we will definitely be doing something with it. That's for sure. And um, go from there. So I'll give it some thought. And when I make a decision as to what will happen with the money, you'll be the first to know. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and share out the video. And we will catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.